Welcome to today's video where we'll delve into the fascinating world of zinc dialkyl diathiophosphate, commonly known as ZDDP, a critical additive in engine oils. For many years, ZDDP has been the unsung hero that has kept your car's engine running smoothly, but new advancements and regulations are shaping its future in unprecedented ways. First, let's discuss why ZDDP is so important. It's a multifunctional additive. One of its primary roles is as an anti-wear agent. It forms a tenacious protective layer on metal surfaces, preventing metal-to-metal -metal contact called the boundary lubrication layer. This is especially crucial for high-stress engine components like camshafts, pistons, liners, and anything up to high-load gear systems, which have their own separate EP or extreme pressure additive. The layer is incredibly thin with thickness varying between 50 to 150 nanometers, but don't be fooled by its small size, it's exceptionally effective and the backbone of most lubricants anti-wear strategy. Furthermore, ZDDP acts as an antioxidant, slowing down the oil's aging process by inhibiting the formation of oxides and varnish, at least when in a good condition. Contrary to popular belief, it's the sulfur in ZDDP, not the zinc or phosphorus, that gives it anti-wear properties. The ZDDP molecule is a complex structure comprising sulfur, phosphorus, zinc, and oxygen. Now, let's talk about oil analysis, a subject close to our hearts. Oil analysis techniques, such as spectroscopy ICP and XRF, allow us to determine the levels of ZDDP in an oil sample. Accurate measurement of ZDDP concentration helps in understanding causes of wear and the overall health of the oil. Our unique rapid acid digestion technique, LubeWare, can provide further insights into how ZDDP interacts with other elements in oil to form metal additive mixes, offering a comprehensive view of your machinery health. Recent emission control regulations have significantly impacted ZDDP levels often called SAP or SAPs. Specifically, sulfur and phosphorus, components of ZDDP, can foul the catalysts in emission control systems. While this isn't an issue for modern vehicles designed to operate with lower ZDDP levels, it presents challenges for older engines that were designed for higher concentrations of this additive. In fact some of the classic cars you may have seen oil analysis laboratories on the classic car restoration show car SOS may be surprised many of these older vehicles require very high levels of anti-wear additive to function. Beyond automotive applications, ZDDP is also seeing reduced usage in the industrial sector. In high temperature applications, such as plastic injection molding and mobile hydraulics, ZDDP has shown a tendency to thermally degrade, leading to hydraulic oil sludge. In fact much of what we refer to as varnish is actually not oxidized oil and is instead spent oil additive, usually ZDDP. Likewise, food grade and silver bearing containing components require zinc free for regulatory and machine health reasons. This has led industries to seek alternative additives that can withstand such conditions. While ZDDP is expected to remain relevant for the next two to three decades, the shift toward eco-friendly, sustainable options is undeniable. This is particularly the case where high operating temperatures or strict emission controls are in place. In conclusion, ZDDP has been a cornerstone in both industrial and engine oil formulations, providing anti-wear, antioxidant, and anti-corrosion properties. However, its role is becoming increasingly restricted due to new technological developments and regulatory constraints, pushing the industry to develop more sustainable alternatives. Thank you for watching today's deep dive into ZDDP and its relationship with oil analysis. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative content.